Beano folks and basically we'll go down here and we'll look at the fresh and you will see that our object that we've seen that was moving pretty damn fast is still moving there but is it getting caught up in a magneticism or the idea that it can't go much farther pretty soon because it's sure slowed down as fast as it was moving that one day below the sun okay so anyway I got that today uh, the, mo the first thing the reason I was making a video is we'll go up here and you'll see the temperature of the sun Holy rockin', flockin', rockin', flockin', hopin', jeevenies, creaminies. So anyway, we got geometric storm, geomagnetic storm, and so recent shots, and auroral, and basically watch out on the 26th, and I think we can basically, we'll pop this to... 200 and might be able to play it pretty good so as you see that CME come off you should be able to match up on the clock that it's pretty much the 26 you see the 26 there and uh, we'll probably get some CME action to that and as you can see they've even pulled a lot of the satellites this way to be able to keep a good distance off of these CMEs that are out there so they're positioning the satellites pretty good. Uh, this one here, what do we got on code there on that one? That is Spitzer. Hope it can handle that blast. I'm pretty sure they'll probably move it this direction. So uh, it'll take less time to move it this direction than it would be directing it this direction. And you think they want to observe more over here also. You got a head here, Soho A. So it would be behind, I believe I got that correctly, without even looking, and yes, or oh, I got it behind, I'm wrong, I have stereo B behind over here, I should have realized that, I thought I was going by the color, ahead and behind, so there we go, behind and ahead, A ahead's over there, so, and that's Earth here, so we should get some kind of something from that, you know that that being like that, you're going to get some kind of should get some interesting shots from Sechi in the future. So factual, actual. Uh, that's popping out on the 26th. I mean, it's popping out before that, but the 26th, 27th, and 28th out here. And let's go over and look, slide over and look at our auroral. And uh, watch for tornadoes in your area, ladies and gentlemen, if you hear a freight train. Watch out, could be a tornado. So we got a lot of hot and cold air out there. I don't look at the map up right now, but there's your aurora. And that is very dramatic auroral action, ladies and gentlemen. That means our coronal earth moving through space. We are hauling ass and we're tumbling like a bullet at more than 66,000 miles an hour. It'd be interesting to try to get it down to a gnat's ass how actual fast we're going because as you see, our ass end is moving pretty good. And yep, uh, the sun engulfs something, ladies and gentlemen, because that's not just either that or that's a hell of a uh, shot of catching the uh, yeah, that's a hell of a shot of catching uh, the CME off the sun. And remember the videos I've shot in the past; we've had huge objects up there, basically huge objects, huge planets up there by the sun. So still getting the marble action as you see there on the sun. We'll get down to the data and see what we got going on on data. Which this is all data. Any time I give you the information, it's data. Radio flux isn't coming up, so basically they got a disturbance there. And we're not getting anything on. So I would say A and B are probably, or basically B is probably getting a big blast. Hope it can handle it. So we ended up getting something that basically was from that. So if it's not a CME that is disturbing all that right now, then more than likely that picture is very dramatic evidence that we had something hit the sun. Maybe the first time a comet or object got hit by the sun. I mean, engulfed by the sun either. So, 
anyway, today was, and basically this matches up with what we were getting for, uh, earthquakes, and also the diet because of Japan, and we've also had that fresh there now. And I'll give you the earth. There you go. So now, see if we got anything fresh, but that's pretty much it. And the West Coast had a few quakes today 3.3, 4.2, way broader, spreading out off Alaska up there. And once again, they don't like us when we're talking. So we're getting a pretty good solar storm. Either that or probably power outage is possible too. The feed's not coming through. So as you see, we went past there and the satellites are not getting their feeds through. So whether it's down here on Earth, CME action in our atmosphere, or actual factual that the satellites are not reporting in. So, also, a lot of brass down in Columbia, and there we go. So, we got radio flux there, so now what else we get reporting in? So, and as you see, dramatic again there. So, we're looking around for see what else we get popped in, but no, a lot of ghosts is not coming in. So, maybe just at this site that I'm at, too. So, but it just saves a lot of time going to a lot of links going here. So, anyway, that's actual factual. That's very dramatic. It wouldn't be the first time that we've seen a huge, and it's planets, folks, it's huge objects, whether it's even a dead, just a dead lump of huger than a planet out there in space. That CME there is just going on, and all that coronal action there to the right is going on. With Earth, that's our eyeball. That's the sun, this side over here, and this is us following the sun. It's our retinal, pretty much. And this is the satellite that I think that might be ghost, but I'm not trying to know. What is it? Geoscience orbit. Geosync. Okay, now I know. So, anyway. So, you're going to want to see the footage today of the 20. What do they got? Is this the 22nd? Oh, yeah. Okay, the 22nd. No, 23rd. 23rd, sorry, folks. So the 23rd, you want to watch the action on the 23rd when you get that off Sechi or Soho or wherever you get. And, yes, the IMF polar angle, very dramatic, and the temperature is the most important because... 